this is reality and when you wake up to reality that the Holy Ghost is the true and living God then you're worshiping the true and living God and there's benefits to that the benefits of worshiping the Holy Ghost are there benefits I'm gonna talk a little bit about those today so if people don't worship the Holy Ghost guess what they don't get the benefit so if we're preaching about worshiping the Holy Ghost the reason we do that is because there's great say great great, great benefits that go along with worshiping the Holy Ghost why would that be because he's God in the earth today and if you want to connect with God who's in the earth today what one thing you should do with God you should worship God right remember the angel told that to John the Revelator in the book of Revelation John fell down he's gonna worship the angel he said hey, hey, hey don't do that worship God right. yep. I'm an angel I'm a fellow servant yeah. right he said worship God mm -hmm. your Bible tells you to worship God so you should worship God well if you have an understanding and a deeper understanding here at the society that the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today he's the only God in the earth today if you're worshiping something else you're missing it so we're gonna worship the Holy Ghost there's benefits to that number one he's the true and living God Yay. right Amen. you can worship some fictional thing you can worship some religious idea but if you want to worship the true and living God then guess who you're gonna to have to worship the Holy Ghost is the only God in the earth today remember the Father is in heaven Jesus went and sat at his right hand and they plural both of them sent the Holy Jesus said, I'm gonna to go to the Father and we will send the Holy Ghost yeah right yeah. so who's in the earth the where are you yeah. you're in the earth so it'd be good for you to worship the true and living God who is the Holy Ghost the one Jesus sent right so so he's the living God so let's look at 2nd Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 16 what and what agreement has the temple of God with idols for you are the temple of the living God so who's the living God see now the one of the benefits of worshiping the Holy Ghost is that he's the true and living God right well you mean you know how do you know he's the living God because the Bible specifically and emphatically calls him the living God are you here I'm gonna show this to you for you are the temple of the living God as God has said I will dwell in them walk in them they will be my God and and I will be their God and they shall be my people who said this do I have to take you to the other scripture in Peter where he talks about that the Holy Ghost spoke through men of his own will right as they were moved by him so this is the Holy Ghost talking specifically you are the temple of the Living God as God has said I will dwell in them walk in them I will be their God they shall be my people who will be their God the Holy Ghost will be their God who's your God in the earth today the Holy Ghost who's the Living God the Holy Ghost who's the true and living God the Holy Ghost who's the only true and living God in the earth today Am I acting like a preacher now I'm pounding on things sweating spitting if that wasn't clear enough let's just go clarify it a little bit more for you that the Holy Ghost is the Living God first Corinthians chapter 6 we were in second Corinthians chapter 6 now we're gonna go to the epistle that Paul wrote to the Corinthians before this one and see if he holds the same message first Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 19 what know you not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost he said before it was don't you know that you're that you are the temple of who the Living God mm -hmm. Living God you're in the earth temple Holy Ghost this is making what know you not your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you which you have of God you're not your own you're bought with a price therefore glorify who God the Holy Ghost thank you go to the front of the class glorify God in your body in your spirit which are God's what are we talking about it's gotta be the Holy Ghost now go over to chapter 3 1 Corinthians 3 16 
know you not that you are the temple of what God 2nd Corinthians 6 16 said the temple of the living God here it says you know you not that you're the temple of God or the living God and that the Spirit of God dwells in you who's God in the earth today the Holy Ghost who should you worship so when a benefit of worshiping the Holy Ghost is that you know according to scriptures you are worshiping the true and living God isn't that good news yes. did I show you in the scriptures enough yes. yep. have I convinced you that Absolutely. the true and living if you're going to worship the true and living God who's in the earth today it's going to have to be worshiping the Holy Ghost is that a benefit I would think so if there's any benefits to worshiping God at all it would be worshiping the true and living God what about true is he true mm -hmm. John chapter 14 and verse 16 and I will pray the Father and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever yes. has this happened yes. did Jesus go to the Father and send another yes so and who is the comforter he is the Holy Ghost he's gonna abide with you forever with you right yes. verse 17 even who the spirit of truth who does jesus call the spirit of truth the holy ghost the living god he's the spirit of truth he's the true and living god people might not like this but the truth the only truth in the earth today is the holy ghost mm -hmm. is the message of the holy ghost if somebody has a different message other than the holy ghost is god in the earth today it's not the truth it's a fiction it's a religious fiction this isn't a religious idea that the Holy Ghost being in the earth this is reality and when you wake up to reality that the Holy Ghost is the true and living God then you're worshiping the true and living God and there's benefits to that right is this making any sense yeah. worship consistent daily worship of God brings with it its benefits say consistent, consistent. Daily, daily worship, worship. Of, God. of God God who the Holy, the Holy Ghost so when you say I worship you Holy Ghost are you wrong no you are so right you need to be so right to the point where you go I'm so right everybody else is wrong well that seems arrogant no nope, that's the kind of position you need to take many times if you're gonna stand on your own in things you get into groups of people who don't believe that way are there any groups of people who don't believe this way there's a couple but when you stand and go I worship you Holy Ghost you're doing something that other people aren't doing yet but you're worshiping the true and living God consistent daily worship renews your mind remember I told you it was like homeroom where do you go when you first go to school I don't do you do that anymore they have a homeroom and you got to sign in or whatever and they do they do roll call you have to stand behind your desk or the teacher comes and slaps you with a ruler yeah. you don't do that anymore the big paddle that hangs behind her desk on the wall right. <laughs> we should bring that back yes. vote for me <laughs> I'll put one in every school um <clears throat> reboots your mind oh so you go into homeroom it's where you begin if you don't begin there then the rest of the day doesn't count right, right. What, do you, what is it you know you if you never went to homeroom and you come into school and they go you know they're handing out the what is that where you get the award for perfect attendance I never got one of those <laughs> I've heard about them but if you don't go to homeroom where you check in you could go to the rest of the day of school and have it not count so you got to go to homeroom and one of the reasons is what the Holy Ghost begins to do when you worship him he begins to reboot say reboot reboot, reboot your system have you ever had a computer do something wrong on you and you call the technician and he goes did you try rebooting it or restarting it lots of times that'll fix it because something got out of whack like your timing belt or something and then when you reboot it it puts it right back together this is in layman's language but you understand what I'm saying right oftentimes you just shut it down shut it down and start it back up and when you start it back up with Holy Ghost worship 
the Holy Ghost the Spirit of truth the living God in the earth today is able to take you places you can't go without worshiping him mm. right yeah. reboot your say it's like installing new software what about the updates mm. most of the people are walking around without the updates Jane and you're wondering why you can't communicate with them because you know they're not receiving on the same level you need the updates right yes. I don't know I've been up I get updated every morning I get the new beep 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 comes in every day why because I wake up and I go I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost and so who's right in his face right in the morning me so I get restarted the Bible says in 2nd Corinthians 4 16 well why don't we go look at that we haven't opened to that many scriptures yet there it goes for this cause we faint not but though the outward man perish yet the inward man is renewed day by day not month by month there's a new lead, there's a new update every day there's a new reboot every day they every, every day every day every day every day consistent daily worship of the Holy Ghost reboots you puts you in the right path what if the last day I was started to veer off my path a little bit my thinking was was starting to slide back towards traditional thinking thinking was going off in this direction but when I go when I be, worship the Holy Ghost reboot I'm back in I'm signed in the homeroom I can now go in this direction hey guess what the Holy Ghost is the true and living God he's God in the earth today I worship you Holy Ghost Woo! now I walk with the Holy Ghost by confessing confessing his word is this right so now I'm straight is it good to be straight yes, yes. is there a benefit to being straight yes. <laughs> I won't reboot your mind he installs new saw he fixes crashes he fixes things that's that have the tendency okay you got off at three o'clock yesterday you started messing up but today we're not going to because we we fixed that yesterday we're inst installing new stuff every day Amen. the outward man perishes but the inward man is renewed day by day every day every day every day say every day I worship the Holy Ghost right and that's where you start you start there because then your mind is strong and going in the right direction right Romans chapter 12 and verse 1 I beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of who God and remember I told you that the Bible is now in our day in this dispensation of the Holy Ghost is strongly weighted in the, the that the Holy Ghost is the one speaking unless he's talking about the Father of Jesus specifically we're dealing with the true and living God who wrote the Bible in the earth today right so he's talking about himself I beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of God that you present your bodies a living sacrifice holy and acceptable unto God now who's holy the Holy Ghost why would you be presenting you be sending a, a holy body to him who the Holy Ghost in the earth not when you die and go to heaven I want to see you after you're dead present your body to him I want to see that no you got to present it now say I, I present, present my, body my body to you, to you. Holy, Ghost. Holy Ghost and why would you do that because you're the temple a living sacrifice holy acceptable unto God which is your reasonable service reasonable service if you look it up it literally can be transmitted spiritual worship who are you worshiping you're worshiping the living God the Holy Ghost well if I do that what's one of the benefits be not conformed to this world verse 2 Romans chapter 12 verse 2 be not conformed to this world but be you transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good acceptable and perfect will of God are you going to be able to do that especially the perfect will of God without worshiping the Holy Ghost it can't happen that's why I tell people that don't worship the Holy Ghost they, they can't get there they might have some truth say some truth but they'll never have all the truth because they have to have the spirit of truth and they have to be wired to him every day transformed through spiritual worship the benefits of worshiping the Holy Ghost so as you're being transformed what are you being transformed to well we're gonna read in here in a second 
from glory to glory by the Holy Ghost so we're worshiping him we've got him in the right place now we're gonna be seeing things from his perspective and not yours would that be good living God's perspective your perspective living God yours which is better we have to be transformed from yours to living God's which means we have to go through many changes right is this any good second yeah. Corinthians chapter 3 verse 17 now the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is or where the spirit of the Lord there is liberty but we all with open face beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory even as by the Spirit of the Lord so we're changed we're renewed daily our thoughts are beginning to go to his thoughts the way he thinks about things instead of the way you or the way you used to think about things his perspective do you think he believes in the gifts of the Spirit yes. the reason people put everything off till heaven is because that's where their Lord is and so I get it all when I go there but Jesus their Lord sent another and he brought with him all his gifts all his thinking all his transforming from glory to glory ability and when we worship him he's able to take you from glory to glory to glory which means you're a new man a new creature a new thought a new way you become different I'm not the same guy I was are you yes I'm ashamed well then you know you're going backwards where the Spirit is lower there is freedom well let me just I'll just put this out here where the Spirit is lower, meaning you're you've you've worshiping the Living God he's Lord of your life and you're you're going in this it, when you do that and you're in that position there's freedom to be changed from glory to glory is this making sense what if I don't do that where the spirit isn't Lord there's no freedom or there's bondage or there's some something's just not right there you know people because people are gonna say that about you and they do it about me I don't know if you've heard that there's something not right there something's not right and I'm like I'm looking at it <laughs> That's what happens when you change from glory to glory when you're on the next level of glory and you're looking back at the people that don't, don't want to go there and you go wait well here's the reason I could point to you the reason it's it's verse 17 of chapter 3 in the second Corinthians yeah. now where the spirit is Lord there is freedom or liberty mental freedom financial freedom physical all these freedoms that come with who the Holy Ghost by the work of his spirit from glory to glory you see in this where the spirit is Lord there now remember this this is all now why is it now why is it not till heaven because the Holy Ghost is now he's in the earth where the spirit is Lord there is Liberty where is he Lord where has he come to where has he moved into the earth and you're in the earth therefore when you walk with him you have freedom now in the earth is this making sense Amen. I hope so so the benefits of worshiping the Holy Ghost worshiping the true and living God he is creating freedom for you he's renewing you he's rebooting you he's putting you on the right path when you worship him all these things are great and then once you're rebooted he's able to add new programs that couldn't be added before are you here it doesn't work on your old computer it has to be rebooted and rewired have you ever been there you want to play this new game and it, like the the games PS do, do all the ps4 games work on ps3s no it's why you get the ps4 I'm telling you most of this stuff will not work on just old Jesus thinking am I against Jesus guy I gotta clarify this every time no I'm not against Jesus are you kidding me we live in everything that Jesus bought and paid for and he sent the Holy Ghost so if we're worshiping the one that he sent we're actually pleasing him if we receive the one he sends then we're receiving him or what he wanted sorry yes. I always have to clarify that because people think well you're preaching about the Holy Ghost you don't like Jesus I want to punch you in the brain with the Holy Ghost of course you understand a Holy Ghost punch <laughs> to the brain <laughs> 2nd Corinthians 9 verse 8 and God who is this talking about God who Holy Ghost. 
God the Holy Ghost who's God in the earth today who's the true and living God who reboots you to think in the right way and takes you from glory to glory right God the Holy Ghost is able to make all grace abound towards you said so that you always having all sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work who's doing this the Holy Ghost and he's making all grace abound to it because without without the grace you can't do it another word for grace is what favor worshiping the Holy Ghost causes him to favor you and that favor in greater and greater glory to glory degrees causes you to be able to do things in a greater capacity God is able to make all grace abound towards you that you always having all sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work the Amplified Bible says every favor and earthly blessing come to you in abundance the Holy Ghost will make every favor and earthly blessing it's okay I got it every favor and earthly blessing come to you in abundance every favor say favor every favor, every favor right and what earthly blessing why could God the Holy Ghost make every favor and earthly blessing come to you because he's in the earth and you're worshiping him in the earth are you saying I can't worship the Father of course you can worship the Father I do that quite often can I worship Jesus of course you can worship Jesus but they're both in heaven if you want to worship the true and living God in the earth he's going to be able to do things for you in the earth making every favor and earthly blessing that's what the favor means is that good yeah. is that a benefit of worshiping the true and living God all right a benefit of worshiping the Holy Ghost is he makes every favor and earthly blessing so grace equals favor equals willingness to be actively involved with say willingness, willingness. to be, to be. Actively, actively involved. involved now how many of you found this out if you worship the Holy Ghost if I worship the Holy Ghost daily and he reboots me and I'm worshiping the true and living God and he's God in the earth today he actively gets involved in things and does things Amen. why is that because I'm favored your worship causes you to be favored can you favor one above another it doesn't mean you don't love them both but one is more favored than the other if you worship the Holy Ghost and the next-door neighbor isn't which one is being favored well they're both gonna die and go to heaven <laughs> good but that's not what I'm talking about I'm talking about God in the earth today which one is God going to be actively the willingness to be actively involved with it increases his willingness to do things for you that's favor that's grace grace is willingness to do things for worship is the number one thing if you worship the Holy Ghost he has a willingness to do things for you that he won't do for somebody else he won't do it for them well if they worship him he will why do you talk like that <laughs> God is able to make all grace every favor and earthly blessing come to you in abundance now what God would be able to do that it's got to be one in the earth because he's gonna make all grace every favor and earthly blessing come to you Amen. right yes. that's what the word said it's coming to you say every favor every and favor. earthly blessing every is coming to me it's coming, to coming, to me. coming to me now because I worship the Holy Ghost consistent daily worship increases God's active involvement in the affairs of your life take that to the bank <laughs>